Hi, this is Lou from Foothills Properties. I'm in Vantanic Country Club uh, subdivision uh, near uh, Colvin Sunrise near Sabino Canyon. I'm looking sort of north and east, or I'm sorry, north and west towards the end of the street. Um, this is a, in the Lake Estates portion, and these are semi-attached uh, type homes. This one that I'm in front of has a neighbor on one side, but you would never know it based on the size, scope of the home and the quality of the construction. Uh, so I'll take a pan, hopefully slowly, so you can see the mountains and not get totally, totally dizzy from my spinning. Uh, we'll walk up to the house. It is a vacation rental, which means it's fully furnished. It has a gated courtyard entry, a wide entry here. To the left is the garage. It's physically a two-car garage, but I tell you now, it's one car only. The owner has a couple of dirt bikes and a uh, classic uh, vehicle in the other side. Uh, these are the bedrooms, and I'll show you that, so you'll see it. Uh, here we have some sculpture. I'd call it Don Quixote, but it's really the violin player. Uh, to my left is the uh, kitchen. Straight ahead through the double doors that you saw is the great room. And when I say it's a great room, it truly is a great room. It's large. It has high ceilings. It's very open feeling. As you can see, there's three, four seating areas. So it's a very comfortable room. Well, we're here, we'll swing to the left, kind of slowly so you can see the kitchen. Lots of counter space, very open. Two door refrigerator with ice and convenience. Microwave above the stove. This is the laundry room with a sink. I, the door is ajar on purpose, so I don't have to open it, So, but we'll go through, and I'll show you the bikes, the dirt bikes, the quad, mini quad. So there is parking for one car. I do not know if additional parking is allowed in the subdivision on the apron, so if that's important, you must discuss that with your property manager or leasing agent before you sign a lease. Uh, the kitchen from the other side, it's very lively, it's got a, as you can see, a, a navy royal blue countertop. I was surprised when I saw it, but with all the sparkly in it, it really looks nice in this home. In this setting, it's very lovely. Uh, the cadenza here is a little storage area, a uh, dining room table for six. Uh, another game table there, a nice seating area. I better back out here so that you can see the fireplace and the big screen TV. It is a good size TV. We're back into the entry area. Now we're on the bedroom wing. This is a double door, so it could have been a den, but it's really set up as a bedroom which is cool because there's so much seating area elsewhere. To our left is the master, but I think I'll, you know, let's go to the master. You walk into the master and it, it's also a large master. So you can see there's a good sofa there. You can stretch out on and sit and read. A king size bed. We'll come here and take a look into the master bathroom again an oversized luxury type bathroom lots of counter space lots of mirror space a garden tub a step in shower the commode is in the alcove it's not a private room but it's it's sort of private from a spouse or partner using the rest of the bathroom we have a good closet area, probably more than 
a vacation visitor would need. But if you were here for six, nine months for a year on a job assignment, working at, at uh, somewhere that you wanted to get away from and wanted to be up in this area, this would be an ideal home for that. Uh, you could bring plenty of clothes. There's a TV in the armoire there. We're out. The porch access is both from the living room, the great room, and from the master. I thought it was better to go out this way. Very low care. There is a charcoal grill here. Uh, this is a common area, a wash. So there's no one behind, so it's very private in behind mountain views from here. As I said, the neighbor's quite far away, actually, even though they're attached and, and very private over there. We'll walk back through here. I will stop long enough to pull that door closed so that the heat stays out and the flies and anything stay out. We're back into the hall. We'll look straight ahead. Here we have a little bonus room that they've turned into an office with a little writing desk to set up a computer in here and use the computer in here. Uh, if you have a laptop that you want to bring or even a uh, small profile desktop with a, a monitor. Then the second bedroom actually has two queen beds uh, plus a TV. There's the internet access point right there. And uh, it's a very light, bright room. We have the hall bath. Nice size. Very bright also. And if you saw, I'm still wearing my sunglasses from walking in, so I didn't have to stop. I don't find it dark in here at all, even with the dark lenses on. So there's our tour of an absolute, absolutely wonderful house that is available year-round as a vacation rental inside the gates of, Tucson, of Fantana Country Club in the Lake Estates. Thank you. Have a great Tucson day.